Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and this is going to be your stock watch list for the 18th of October, Thursday. Let's go ahead and get into it. Before we do get into it though, just want to remind you that if you would like to come into my uh, trading room service, join our community. Uh, we are running for three days in November, uh, the 6th, 7th, and 8th. All right, just sign up there, your name and your email, whatever name you want to use, whatever email you want to use, and we'll send you out that link uh, for those days. You come in one day or all three days, doesn't matter, um, and uh, come check us out, all right? November 6th, 7th, and 8th, uh, you get free access to ZozoStockWatch.com. So a lot of gyrations in the uh, market today it was a very uh, choppy and back and forth uh, session today. As you can see uh, from the open, we started to uh, sell off here um, and uh, we got down to about uh, that 277 area. Uh, we thought, you know, bears were going to take us back down. You know, yesterday we were up about 540 points on the Dow and um, I thought we were, okay, that's it. We're going to reverse back down and then we got the dip buyers showing up right here at around that 277.50 277 mark uh, today and they V-bottomed us and they pushed us all the way back up and then a couple of uh, fits and starts throughout the day, the, spot, the spy chart here and then uh, closed it actually uh, pretty strong here and in the after hours uh, we're trailing off a little bit, uh, but overall holding uh, pretty well here. And uh, I would say that's a victory uh, for the Bulls after having uh, a big up move yesterday uh, and then uh, buyers showing up, uh, supporting the market here. So I would say that's a good day for the Bulls. Uh, to hold serve here, but uh, I would say one thing though, uh, in the uh, futures uh, market tonight, uh, we are currently down uh, 52 on the futures. All right, and I'll bring that over for you. So the futures are currently down about uh, 49, 50 points. S&P futures are down seven. NASDAQ futures are down uh, 22. Uh, the other thing uh, bulls can rest their head on is that in the uh, Dow, right, most of the uh, losses came from uh, IBM, about uh, 70, 80 points of the Dow Jones moving down was uh, mostly uh, IBM today. Uh, so that uh, is something that the bulls can rest their hats on. Uh, so the markets were flat and choppy today. Um, but uh, like I said, after the bulls, um, they held up today. So I'd give the, uh, put the ball in their court up to them what they want to do with it tomorrow. Uh, but the uh, spy basically remained in a, a big old uh, range uh, today on the spy. So uh, let's go ahead and check our board here. Uh, so we had the Dow Jones down uh, 91 points, most of that IBM. Uh, let's check our percentages. What did we have up today? Uh, we had the banks getting a little bit of bond up about 1% on the day. We had the XLV, the healthcare sector, up uh, half a percent for the day. Uh, the XLB uh, P was up uh, fractionally. Uh, the Qs were up fractionally for the day. To the downside, uh, we had JNUG, which is uh, a, a gold uh, ETF. JNUG, the uh, junior gold miners, uh, that moving down. Uh, today um, that was down about three percent oil was down almost uh, two and a half percent for the day um, the home builders are uh, taking another hit down about two percent for the day as the fed came out the fomc uh, minutes came out today at around two o'clock and they said that they feel uh, you know okay with raising rates higher getting things back uh, money back to neutral rates back to neutral uh, so that brought the home builders down uh, the xop uh, which is the uh, oil gas exploration that was down almost two percent for the day uh, nugget another uh, gold uh, miners uh, there was down uh, one and a half percent the oih was down about one and a half percent there so as you can see anything kind of commodity related uh, was down today uh, the smh was down about half a percent uh, for the day the iwm uh, still remains below the 200 uh, SMA 
on the IWM. Now, uh, we had an inside day here on the IWM. Uh, once again, we got another dip here. Uh, buyers showed up, but I'd say that's an inside day on the IWM. So, uh, you know, overall, the markets were okay. Uh, a big winner in the markets today, I'll tell you. Uh, if I, there's any advice I can ever give you uh, on these videos is never short uh, one of these low float uh, stocks. Uh, this uh, um, y, uh, Yulong, Y-E-C-O, had news today. Basically, uh, they uh, completed, uh, uh, the, they closed their uh, deal with Millennium Sapphire deal, and uh, the stock moved up basically uh, sevenfold uh, tonight. Uh, this stock, uh, you know, a lot of shorts came into this name. Uh, it's a low float. And uh, are they paying the penalty uh, for this? This thing could go up to 20 something dollars uh, in the after hours tonight. It went up to uh, over $17. Now, I did not get a single trade in this today, um, but uh, I was playing sympathy plays to this. A lot of the China, uh, small little China stocks were moving up in sympathy to YECO. Uh, so this gave a, a you know um, a nice move to for the uh, sympathy plays, but once again, when you see these low float sh uh, stocks uh, moving up, uh, don't don't short them. Stay away. All right, uh, it's, you're better off just you know go do something else. All right, because you are gonna get uh, hit in these names. Now I'm not saying at some point it's not going to reverse down. Uh, obviously it is. But uh, while you're trying to figure that out, you're probably uh, getting your head your head handed to you. Uh, so better just to stay away and don't short these names. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and um, take a look at some of the news that came out uh, after the bell tonight. Uh, this courtesy of the trade exchange. Uh, so we had some earnings come out uh, after the bell. Um, Let's see. Oh, by the way, Roku will be having their earnings on November 7th. All right. So Roku, put that on your calendar. Uh, they announced their earnings date. Uh, let's see. What else do we have come out? Uh, we had Alcoa. I know that much. They came out with earnings. Oh, here it is. Earnings per share and revenue uh, beat for uh, Alcoa, an aluminum company. Uh, first, they took it down and they brought it right back up. Uh, Alcoa beat, and then they mentioned a $200 million stock uh, repurchase program. And uh, so on that, AA on that adjusted, they beat by 30 cents on earnings per share. So Alcoa uh, up in the after hours uh, tonight. So good numbers there from Alcoa and the share buyback um, tonight uh, from uh, AA. Uh, KMI, earnings per share beat uh, by one cent revenue miss KMI uh, that stock uh, oil and gas uh, stock uh, that stock not doing too much in the after hours uh, thus far uh, KRYS uh, they're doing a 60 million secondary uh, on that one um, what else did we have uh, PTI announces positive preliminary results uh, for one of their uh, cystic fibrosis uh, products, uh, PTI. Uh, that stock was uh, popping up, but now slowly uh, drifting back down. Uh, might be one to watch tomorrow, PTI. Um, what else do we have? Uh, CCI announces 7% increase to common stock dividend on CCI. Um, OPGN doing an offering, OPGN. And then uh, FireEye, uh, F-E-Y-I, uh, Baird initiates uh, outperform on uh, F-E-Y-E. So uh, that one ticking up uh, up to about the $18 area on FireEye in the after hours tonight. Uh, we also had a steel stock come out uh, with earnings. And as I scroll, hopefully I'll find it. I think it was Steel Dynamics. Uh, ONCS, by the way, a 13D was filed. Uh, Alpha Holdings, a 9.2% stake. Uh, so ONCS, uh, that stock was ticking up a little bit in the after hours uh, tonight. Um, we had uh, Constellation uh, Brands uh, moving up a little bit in the after hours as they uh, picked their new CEO. And, um, oh, here it is, STLD. Uh, they beat by five cents and they beat on revenue, STLD. So that stock, a steel stock moving up in the after hours uh, tonight. Some... Um, 
top inside of purchases after hours tonight, uh, you can see FHN, AGFS, RPM, and BDGE. So that's some of your uh, top insider purchases uh, after the bell for tonight. Once again, this news, courtesy of the uh, news service, The Trade Exchange. Uh, go look them up. They are a very good uh, news service. And um, I'll be right back with the stocks to watch list. So, um, you know, my service is a swing trade and day trading service. So when I go through my watch list, um, I'll be talking about some day trading trading stocks and some swing trading stocks uh, just to let you know all right I do have a swing trade service and I run my day trade service if you go to my uh, join me page uh, it's down in the description box in this uh, video uh, so here's my prices for swing trade and we keep it very low for for just this reason that uh, you know swing trades uh, during the month of October and whatnot are very tough so if you want to come and take advantage of uh, our swing trade service uh, all the alerts are put out on a private feed so you could join for $99 for six months and uh, that's less than uh, $17 uh, per month for the swing trade service all right uh, so but if you email me you can get in the room for free uh, that's in November that link will also be down in the description box for you so just uh, fill out your email and uh, your name and we'll send you the link uh, for the uh, free access to my room and like I said if you're not a day trader you're a swing trader uh, I have uh, offerings for you for the swing trade service so tomorrow uh, I'll be watching Alcoa all right, that's one of the names I'm going to be watching tomorrow. It's an earnings play. Maybe some uh, shorts are ca caught in uh, Alcoa. We'll see if we get a continuation move uh, in this name. Uh, I'll be watching STLD also. Um, we'll be watching uh, some of the other steel names now that STLD uh, had their earnings. AKS was ticking up a little bit. Uh, also, uh, U.S. Steel was ticking up. Uh, a little bit and as far as I um, wanted to show you something here uh, we do have um, Nucor all right they're coming out with earnings tomorrow before the bell so Nucor NUE is the symbol there um, so uh, that might affect uh, these steel names so just keep that in mind uh, if you're looking to do you know some kind of trading in them uh, the symbol for NUE I'm sorry the symbol for Nucor is NUE uh, that one is ticking up in the after hours as you can see it's really beaten down and uh, their earnings will be out tomorrow uh, before the bell on New core okay uh, some other stocks I'm gonna be watching uh, this Amron uh, once again this thing you know you never know there was a corrective market going on watching this Amron now we got a nice uh, trade in it today all right a nice pop we entered here and it got a nice push up in uh, Amron so we played that one today uh, another one I'll be watching today is uh, Avon products uh, 3.5 million shares came into the name maybe trying to turn the corner here on AVP we'll see uh, I'm gonna be watching some of the banks tomorrow uh, this Citigroup uh, it ran up pulled back uh, you know this $70 number uh, for day trading purposes and then if I get enough of a cushion after I get in uh, if they want to move the banks up again tomorrow uh, so I'll be watching uh, Citigroup you can kind of pick your poison there you can go Bank America or JP Morgan uh, so um, any one of the banks will be on watch. Uh, Morgan Stanley will also uh, be on watch for us tomorrow. Uh, let's see. CADC. Now, this is one of those little uh, China names uh, that's running in the after hours. And this is kind of a, you know, a sympathy building materials just like uh, Yeco, Y-E-C-O, uh, moved up. So maybe the CADC should definitely be on your radar tomorrow. Uh, another China name, building materials, triple CL. Actually, traded this one in the after hours tonight uh, took this one over $2.25 uh, it popped up for me took my money out of it on triple uh, CL building material sympathy play CDTI uh, was also moving up another small little China name so this will be on watch uh, here's the daily chart of it as you can see uh, turning the corner CIFS uh, this one was uh, popping up. All right, not as much volume. Well, I guess seven point. 
uh, sorry, 2.6 million shares in CIFS, another China play. Uh, so this was moving up, so that'll be on watch. A CNET, another China play, perking up uh, about about 700,000 shares. Kind of a thinner name, uh, but maybe this one will get going. Uh, Craig, also a big pop here, 1.6 million shares uh, on Craig. Waste management, uh, they popped it up. Uh, so we'll see. Not in love with that one. Uh, Looking at this uh, here, H-E-A-R, it's been holding up pretty well. Uh, it's pretty erratic uh, intraday. Not easy to play this one uh, intraday. Uh, so I'm thinking of maybe a swing trade in this name if we can get up over this uh, 100 SMA. Uh, the white line you see there, that's around $22.85. The high on this name today was $22.50. So I'll have H-E-A-R on watch for possible swing trade. Um, a lot of you know social media watching this uh, HSGX. Uh, it's been kind of basing, trying to turn the corner. Maybe it's one of these kind of fill the gap, bottoms up uh, type of plays. Uh, it was ticking up in the after hours, so I'll have that on watch. Uh, Mosey also now, this is an under 30 cent name. Mosey, look at this volume, 16 million shares. Uh, not a lot of movement though. Uh, so not a favorite, but I'll have it on watch. Uh, these little ones have been moving up, though, so uh, it doesn't hurt to have it on a chart. ONCS, like I said, there was a 13D filed. It was moving up in the after hours, uh, so maybe this one might want to do something tomorrow. Uh, PTI, they had that news after the bell tonight. PTI, we'll see if this one wants to do anything. Uh, SLS, we actually traded this uh, in the service today. SLS, uh, we got a nice uh, move out of this one today uh, so we'll be watching it again tomorrow could be just getting started here SLS uh, 17 18 million shares uh, came into this SLS so that'll be on watch again uh, SS uh, LJ another one of these small little China names uh, 855,000 shares in volume today so kind of light on the volume not a favorite but uh, you know anything can get going right so keep some of these China names on your watch uh, Walmart uh, holding up pretty well, holding above the 50 SMA. Has that uh, $97 area up ahead uh, for Walmart. So keeping this one on watch for possible swing trade. Uh, Christmas is coming, right? So we'll be watching uh, Walmart. And uh, by the way, if you're a swing trader right now and, um, you know, you're just, you know, if you're in cash, that's fine because the market has been real choppy and tough to do swing trades right now. Uh, so if you're a swing trader, don't worry because November is coming and uh, usually the market uh, seasonally uh, will be better November, December. You know, you get the Santa Claus rallies. So a uh, few more weeks and we'll be out of this month of October uh, for swing trade for swing traders and uh, maybe better things ahead. And I would say, you know, hey, these uh, home builders have been just absolutely destroyed. Uh, this is the weekly chart of Lennar and Toll Brothers. Uh, and you have, um, you know, you might want to watch some of these for a bounce play. KBH, uh, PHM also is a home builder. So they have just been getting annihilated now. I don't know when they're going to bounce because you have a Fed in December uh, that may raise rates again. But I would think at some point we're going to get a bounce in uh, some of these home builder names. So I've been watching them each day. Uh, but uh, like I said, in December, there's a Fed meeting. Uh, and most likely, uh, the way it stands, the Fed is going to raise rates again in December. Uh, so I don't know if these home builders are going to move up until, you know, maybe next year sometime. But I'll keep an eye on them. Uh, you know, they keep drifting down, getting cheaper and cheaper. This Toll Brothers uh, on the weekly chart, I mean, we're down from about 50 and change down to about 31. Uh, Lennar was, uh, you know, a $70 stock down to 43 now. At some point, there's going to be, uh, you know, a bounce in some of these and a good entry. Uh, Pulte Homes, uh, $34 stock now trading, uh, 22 and change. And KBH also, you know, uh, $35, $37 stock uh, trading down at 20 bucks. All right. So, um, you know, I'm not saying to buy them, go out and buy them tomorrow, but I'm um, just watching uh, as they continue to drift down. Uh, maybe at some point 
uh, they will uh, start to make that U bottom, that U shape bottom, and turn back up. All right, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Uh, once again, if you'd like to uh, come and check out my service, uh, we're going to have the uh, room open from uh, November 6th, 7th, and 8th. All right, and uh, once again, also, if you're a swing trader, uh, not a day trader, I think we have some of the best prices uh, for the swing trade service, $99. Uh, and if you don't want to, you know, put that much money, you want to come kick the tires a little bit, uh, it's 30 bucks for a month, all right, to try the uh, swing trade service. Service. All right, this is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Have a very nice evening and um, be back at it with another video on Sunday for Monday. Have a good day trading tomorrow.